Hello. Today, we're getting straight into it. Like, literally, I'm jumping right in. So recently, I saw Alyssa Beltempo's video on this new TikTok styling trend, which I'm not on TikTok, so I have absolutely no idea what's going on over there fashion-wise. Um, and I was intrigued because it sounded similar to something that I've been doing for years. I just happened to call it something different. So we're going to be talking about this two by two outfit formula. I'm going to go ahead and link Alyssa's video down in the description box so you can check it out. She comes up with some really cute outfits. Anyway, this two by two formula or what I've called the 50 50 split is basically taking two casual pieces, two dressy pieces, and you're done out the door. Tops, bottoms, dresses, accessories, how you choose to style it. Any of these will make completely different outfits and are going to work with all kinds of personal style preferences. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and put some outfits together to kind of give you an idea of the type of outfits you can make using this formula. All right, I'm going to do this as starting with a base layer, and then I'm gonna show two different ways that you can take this formula and make two different outfits. So we have our casual bottom, these uh, wide leg light wash denim. They have a drawstring waist, which inherently, in my opinion, is casual. And then I have this linen button up, which linen can skew casual, but button-ups are usually a dressed up alternative um, when people want to uh, smarten an outfit. So the jeans are thrifted and this button-up is from Quince. And so we have the first two pieces. Now we need to add one more dressy piece and one more casual piece for this formula. So I'm going to go with a dressier shoe and a casual third layer. So the dressier shoe are going to be these brown loafers. In my opinion, loafers always dress up an outfit. And then the third layer will be this cardigan. All right, so now we've added a second dressy piece in the shoe and a second casual piece in this um, knitted cardigan. Uh, the shoes are from my mom, took them from her closet, and this is a thrifted cardigan. Gives a bit of a preppy vibe, but looking this, as you can see, there's a nice even balance of casual and dressy. Now, I want to put a little preface in at this time. We're using abstract terms when we talk about dressy and casual, when we talk about fashion, period. So my casual and my dressy might be different than your casual and dressy, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, we just want to take the concept of this two by two formula and mix it in with our personal style so that we can get a cohesive look when we put our outfits together. So this is my original base la uh, layer, the jeans and the button up with the added two pieces. And then we can, of course, take it a little bit farther by adding accessories. I would probably go with my fossil bag, which adds another casual bit. It's a slouchy bag, uh, unlike my structured Kate Spade bag. And then I would, of course, add my Ray-Bans. One second. All right. So this would be a version of the 
two by two formula or the 50 50 split that i would wear during the spring and summer months um i consider sunglasses kind of dressing up any outfit and definitely depending on the type of sunglasses frames colors you can just absolutely make this formula your own um, when it comes to your personal style i really like how this came out um, this is something i usually do i haven't put this outfit together before which is fun i usually wear a heel with these pants because i feel that i need a little bit of height but i'm not mad about this so now I'm going to take this base layer and I'm going to add different pieces to show you another way that you can use this 2x2 two two formula. All right, so here is another option or variation. So as I said earlier, there are times that because linen is skewed as a more casual fabric, it therefore makes a more casual item of clothing. We're going to switch it up just a bit, say that the jeans are casual, the shirt is considered casual, and now we're adding the dressy pieces. I added these nude heels. Again, uh, I grabbed them from my mom's closet. And then I picked up, or I grabbed this thrifted blazer. Adds a little bit of shape, but blazers, again, inherently dressy. I've put on the same sunglasses and I'm using the same casual purse. I've simply tweaked the idea of this shirt being a dressy piece to a more casual piece. So we have our 50 and our 50 and we have a different look. Same pieces, just a little varied. So that is my second outfit using the two by two formula. You guys let me know which outfit is your favorite. Um, this route, I'm probably going to end up showing you six uh, different outfits. So let's go on to the next. All right. So here is our next base outfit and I've already thrown on my shoes as you can see. So the dressy piece is this express skirt. It's a pleated midi skirt, has a bit of a sheen to it. So in my opinion, it skews on the dressier side. And then of course we have the basic short sleeve tee, which I'm pretty sure everybody has in their closet. So this is our casual piece, nothing fancy. It is a blank canvas to work off of. I've added a more statement in my wardrobe anyway. Necklace to add a little bit of flash here at the collar and some oomph if you want to call it that. The next casual piece are the shoes. I have a strappy sandal here from Tom's and it just gives vacation vibes. Out and about, just you're going to be walking all day good flat shoe, summer, spring, everybody's throwing on sandals. And for the other dressy piece, I would probably go ahead and just grab a structured bag. So if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know which one I'm going to grab. My Kate Spade. And this is how I would, oh, one second. Where did I put my sunglasses? <laughs> oh. Told you that I am trying to be better about wearing my sunglasses. So this is the first version using the two by two formula, dressy skirt, casual top, casual shoes, and a dressier bag excuse me, bag. And this is just a good everyday out and about around town kind of outfit. Simple and a nice, once again, balance between the casual 
and the dressy. So next. And here is the second variation using our same base have a strappy black sandal, heeled sandal, and went ahead and grabbed the fossil bag. So the heel is our second part to go with the dressy skirt. And then to play off the casual t-shirt, we have the slouchy fossil bag. Now I'm going to say this is something that could go into evening. And so the sunglasses probably aren't necessary. We'll take those off. And there we have it. A second outfit with the same two original pieces. It just gives a different look and vibe using the two by two style formula. All right, let's try the next one. All right, here is our next base layer. It is this silk asymmetrical dress Black gives evening in and of itself dressy. <laughs> it's a one and done kind of outfit. So I went ahead and added the strappy sandals from Tom's. Uh, that is our casual piece. We have our dressy piece. Now we want to add the other two. So I would put on this linen shirt give the sleeves a bit of a nonchalant roll I am not going to button that so we're just gonna Stuff that in there. And when you roll your sleeves up like this, it adds to the casualness of the outfit. So even in your styling, you can do this 50 50 two by two. It isn't solely for the articles of clothing that you choose. It can also be done with the styling, like I said, rolling up the sleeves, or if you tuck in your shirt haphazardly, it gives that casual, effortless, relaxed vibe. Even if you're wearing two dressy pieces, those would be your dressy 50-50, and then the styling shows that more casual flair. I guess. So casual piece number two. I thrifted this um, from Goodwill a number of years ago. It's one of my favorite summer pieces. And then I would add this beaded bag, again thrifted. And I mean, nobody really expects sparkle during the day or as something you would just kind of grab with sandals and, you know, an open light layer. It's a little une unexpected, uh, though it's become more popular in recent years. You, I still don't see it a lot. And I really like that flash of, of beading when it hits the sunlight. I also added this locket that my mom ga uh, gave me. And yes, this would be a 50-50 two by two outfit for a nice summer day. Maybe you're spending it out with friends and you just need the comfortable shoe, uh, sunglasses. It's the problem with these uh, styling videos is that you misplace something or it's under another piece of clothing or something. And this is how I would style an outfit with the two by two formula. We are going to do one more and then I think we'll be good. All right. And this is the final look, final variation. And as you can see, 
left the dress on, but I've gone ahead and put a graphic tee over top. And I went ahead actually and scrunched it up and then I'm using a, a hair tie to kind of knot it in the back to give it a more cinched look because I like to define my waist. And so we have the dressier skirt and the more casual top. Uh, graphic tees always skew on the casual side. And then I went ahead for the second dressy piece is I grabbed my flats. Uh, I bought these from DSW about a year, a year or two ago. And I would, for the second casual piece, I would grab my fossil bag and make sure to keep my sunglasses where I could see them. And those are the other pieces I would add. I also kind of did, I don't know if you can see, kind of a necklace stack. I don't do this very often, but I wanted to try something new, jazz it up a bit. I don't really have statement necklaces except this one. I don't know whether you'll see that. Um, I just like delicate jewelry, so it's hard to kind of give a uh, edgier or jazzier look with delicate necklaces. But yes, this would be another uh, outfit you could put together with the 2x2 two two outfit formula that is currently trending on TikTok. I definitely recommend giving it a shot. I'm not kidding. It is the easiest outfit formula styling tool that you can use that is going to put an outfit together that looks put together, that you're not going to have to worry, is it too much? Is it not enough? It's going to be just perfect because it's that balance of both casual and dressy. I'm going to put this purse down. It's a little heavy. So you guys let me know again which outfit was your favorite. And if you liked this video, please give it a like. If you like styling videos, lookbooks, the occasional thrift haul, go ahead and consider subscribing. And as always, until next time, I look forward to seeing you. Take care.